Welcome back with us, folks. Tonight, we are talking about relative strength. The market has been going down about like this, or I should say a little more like that. Uh, it's been tough. It's been a red beginning of 2022. However, we will find, and the idea is to find the ones that are still strong within this dip when the the market catches up when the market gets a grip the idea is to be in and to be able to trade it as the market moves back up however well you can short the market but what i want to show you here is who's strong while the rest is sinking and we talked about last week while the market was dropping we talked about ups and if you see from Wednesday, basically it's been pretty straight, uh, trading pretty straight. Uh, the rest of the market was really, like I said, dipping that way, while this one was still um, managing to get some strength. And this is what we need to focus on. The rest is sinking and this one is holding. Usually, and you know, this is end of day on uh, Thursday when everything was falling apart. You see a reaction. Algos will trade the whole thing to the downside. The tick to the downside is increasing on all tickers. However, if you look at the rest of the of the um, of the week, Wednesday. Uh, let's call, let's go on Thursday directly. It was upgraded. Um, it's been kind of finding a bottom here. It's consolidating at a bottom. And if you look at the market, look at what it did. Here there's a level, higher low, and then we find the same level here. So basically, and this is after hours, and we reopen, and this is when we, we had an upgrade on, um, on UPS, and it still finds the same level. So looking at this chart here, I mean, forget forget about that, that side of the chart for now. Um, when you look at all this here, get an higher, higher low on this, on these two guys here, and then bottom, bottom is all grabbing, and we see here it just won't cross pretty much a little lower than that, but buyers found whenever they were here and here, they're pushing it and trying and trying and see how all of this is getting tighter and tighter. Now I'm talking about this because it didn't care about the fact the market was going that way, right? And we're not talking about a an unknown ticker. I'm not saying that it's the biggest ticker in the crowd, but it should trade according to the rest of the market because market sentiment usually allows people to say, okay, if the market is tanking, market, the economy is not doing so well, so UPS should be, um, should be in the same kind of group. So what I'm showing you here is strength in order to, to be able to realize what's going to happen whenever the market decides to go in a different direction. And we all saw it lost support here, pretty much just like the rest of the market. This comes to exactly the, the point I wanted to show you is this, when we open on Friday, it's just very tight, tightly consolidating at a level very close to this one. See it here at the, uh, on the left side? Basically, this was the low of this week, uh, and then we're pretty much trading at that low. Yes, there was this little wick here, little wick which is grabbing a lot of stop orders. Make sure that then they start moving it up. Now. Let me zoom in on this for you here, because this is where it gets important, right? It's extremely tight. The rest of the market doesn't want to follow, and then this one starts to move to the upside. This is the strength I'm talking about. The rest is falling, and this one is moving to the upside. Can you imagine when the market decides to move to the upside, what this is going to happen with? So we um, took a small position. I'll zoom out a little bit. Um, we took, because I want to show you something here that we previously talked about, but the idea was 
we saw this bottom here very almost very close to the open and we decided to go 210 210 for next week we're friday obviously theta is gonna uh go against us if we hold forever until expiration because you know and it needs to be in the money in order to have some value in it but it was cheap uh, it was 41 uh, 41 cents um the idea is we we want to cross this eventually when we start crossing there's no resistance or very hardly any to the upside so the idea is to eventually get in the money however we need to start from the bottom here and at least get to the first resistance what did i tell you about right this was resistance at the open and this again it, it found uh am i sorry I, i'm explaining myself wrong here this was support i'm talking about resistance because we're buying from the bottom but this used to be support this used to be support and this used to be support from the open so we can really think that either this area where they found buyers or at least the old support where everyone started buying will be a line of interest let me get out of here and show you something and this is all to show you something about a target you are entering this play at this level at the bottom and you know you can at least get to some sort of um of a rise you know we're in the two two oh one area we're going to at least 204 ish right because this is very close to 204 and the idea is at least if we were to enter this it would be great once we enter this the next line is up there and then it's really uh going to move to the outside so took two thin 210 for the next week paid 41 cents we sold um, a little, uh, well, half the position at a little over 100%. I believe it was in the 90-ish section, 90-ish uh, um, area, maybe a little over that. But look at what happened. And this is the important part. The Where did it stop? And I'll show you exactly. This is where it stopped, right? It stopped where I told you. We are here 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 he used to be support and now what now it's resistance been saying this for quite a few videos i guess this lost support it's breaking under and it's testing it again all of this was strength where while the market was tanking and we only took a bottom and drove it to the and it's the same bottom and drove it to the old support and now it's resistance so i hope you guys are learning something or getting some ideas about what can be done but this market um tanking while we have a strong ticker will always be a good suggestion to keep an eye on and maybe trade it just like we uh, we showed you support resistance simple thanks for watching folks